Now, welcome back to the channel, all my hustlers and grinders and go-getters out there. And JoJo, what are we doing today? Well, today we're finishing up the big job from yesterday, and we're starting off the morning by cutting up a place set. Now, let's get this money, baby. Now, before we start this video, we're gonna talk about signs. If you can see, we love signs. We got our bandit signs right here. We got some more signs right here. And we got more signs right here. And there are different quality of signs. Some are good, some are bad. Some are expensive as hell when you buy them locally. And some are for a great price and good material. And JoJo, where do these signs come from? Well, these signs came from UZ Marketing. And they're great. They're nice and big and bold colorful, straight to the point, simple is best when you're dealing with signs because if somebody's driving, they're just gonna see this for a split second. So you want them to remember a name and maybe they could take a picture of a phone number. So these are some cheap signs over here. We bought a hundred of these. If you can see, they are shitty. They will fold, bend in the wind. So spend money on good signs and go to UZ Marketing. They have quality signs and check that out from a distance. Look, you can see from way over here, JoJo, hold it higher. Like the JoJo said, the more simpler, the better it is. So you'll definitely get business this way. And let's get back to the video, guys. You ready? Let's do this. Now let's talk about the tool you need to cut up one of these play structures. All you need is a DeWalt battery operated chainsaw. It makes it super simple, super easy. These are one of my favorite tools to use in the junk removal business. You can get it from Home Depot. I do believe it's a $249, don't quote me on that. And I got the super sized battery if you guys can see. So if you want one, go to the link down below and order one. So I would say about five and a half minutes later, this thing is down for the count. Now it's time to load this bad boy up, baby. So it's really good when you're separating your metal, either to you know recycle it or get rid of it for free because it's super heavy. Put it on one side. That way, before you you know go to the dump, you can pull it out really easy, and it won't interfere with the load you're gonna dump. Now I know she thinks my tractor's sexy. Ha <laughs> ha, baby, get her done. Another really handy tool that you might want to think about getting is a battery operated skill saw because it will enable you to cut these long boards so they can fit in the back of your truck or trailer. Now job is almost complete and there's two ways you can do this. You can be lazy and not take these center blocks out or you can go the extra mile for the realtor, for the customer, and pull them out. And that's what we're gonna do. We always go the extra mile. So don't be that lazy sack of shit that does the easy stuff and they won't call you back. So go the extra mile and they will. And that's the tip of the day from Matt Vic. Yank these fuckers out. And I guarantee 1-800-GOT-JUNK ain't gonna do it. it takes an extra what? 20 seconds? job is complete and thank god we got another one to go to and jojo what's your prediction of the dump fee i'm gonna say 185. i'm gonna say 173 and let's see what happens so look who won it was 2760 pounds holy shit, that was a heavy load and it was $203 that JoJo Lena won, damn it. So now we are switching trucks and the reason why we have a big job we're starting tomorrow, it's a 7K job. So I wanna have the dump truck empty when we head over there, cause today's Sunday. And this is the perfect example where to park your vehicle. If you guys can see, there are so many cars here 
This is a busy intersection over here. There's actually another hauler right there. And I keep my vehicle and dump trailer parked right here where everyone can see. And I get so much business that way. So much business that way. Ain't that right, Jojo? Yeah, well, as you can tell, it's a very, very busy park. There's cars everywhere. There's like three baseball games going on. And Walmart's right down the street. So we're heading to the next one. It's actually a bid, and I think the guy's going to be super cheap, but we'll find out. So we're heading over there right now. So Matt's at the next job, and let's see if he gets it. This customer called, and they had like 10 sandbags. And when Matthew gave them a roundabout price, they are like, would that include other items? And no, it doesn't work that way. So we said, no, we charge by the volume that fills up our dump truck. And let's see if he gets the job. So here is the job. It's this pile right here. And it was supposed to be 10 sandbags, but you can see there's more like 20 of these bad boys. So I'm not going to lie, I was wrong. She was not cheap. I thought it was a he at first, but it was a she. She just wanted to get it done. Yeah, she just was all about getting it done. And she has other stuff. And she asked how much your full load price is. And she's going to be calling us back. Oh, yeah, we love that. So we're heading to the next one. And uh, let's get this money, JoJo. So you know we had to take a little coffee break. And the reason why is it's a sponsored coffee break from who, JoJo? Mad Trash Junk Removal out of Fort Worth, Texas. We love you guys. I got me a bacon Gouda smoked sandwich and I got me a coffee espresso. So I'm loving life right now. Yeah, it's awesome. Thank you so much. So we're pulling up to the next job and we're in our old hood, JoJo. And it feels damn good that we moved on up. Yeah, I love our new place, but you know, living here in the apartment complex enabled us to save lots of money. So sometimes you gotta sacrifice to get where you wanna be in life, so keep that in mind, guys. And I know these neighbors are probably happy that we left because... We were taking up a lot of parking. Oh yeah, a lot of parking. <laughs> so let's go in here and see what this person has, babe. Okay, so this for sure is the best. Now that ain't that bad for a half a day before noon we're switching trucks we made some killer money and jojo what do you want them to do oh hit the like button and subscribe and watch some of our other videos because if you have a question it's probably been answered in a video